CPS Tech Tips. This video demonstrates proper cleaning of the CPS VG200 and VG200W vacuum gauges. The use of a vacuum gauge is essential to ensure that a repaired or newly installed system is clear of contaminant. Improper evacuation can lead to costly recalls and repairs. This procedure cannot be measured with a mechanical gauge found on the service manifold. The digital vacuum gauge measures what takes place beyond 29 inches of vacuum, which is where the magic happens. Routine cleaning is essential to maintain accurate readings. Oil will impact the accuracy of any vacuum gauge and cause erratic readings. The CPS VG200 is simple to clean. Items you will need are needle nose pliers, denatured alcohols, small syringe or squirt bottle. First remove the T-fitting from the bottom. Then locate and remove the Schrader depressor by unscrewing it. Then remove the rubber gasket using the needle nose pliers or a small screwdriver to carefully grab one of the edges and pull outward. Use syringe filled with denatured alcohol to squirt the alcohol into the opening now exposed by the removal of the depressor and gasket. Squirt a small amount of alcohol into the sensor opening, then allow it to drain by placing it upright. Repeat this procedure two or three times, then allow a few minutes to dry. Reinstall the gasket using the needle nose pliers to carefully push on the outer edges until fully seated. Reinstall the depressor by screwing it back into position. Please note, if you screw the depressor too far in, it will not make proper contact with Schrader valve. That's all there is to it. Not only are the CPS VG200 and VG200W the most accurate units in their class, but also the easiest to clean. Notice the difference between a clean sensor reading and a dirty sensor. Thank you for watching CPS Tech Tips.